they, cats, <laughs> dogs. I'm waiting for mine to talk back to me, honestly. Uh, uh, are you? I know my, I'm just kind of scared that she will at one point. I know. Every time we have a pet story and my three-year-old's watching the news, he's like, oh, I want a dog or I want a cat. So we're going to wait a few years. But what, what a great story that is. All right. Well, it's tough to follow that story, but our weather is improving. I'll tell you what. Well, it was yesterday. Not so much I mean, today. I mean, like, uh, not so much snow. I guess I'm thinking in terms of... Long term. I'm You're trying to look on the bright right? side here. Yeah. We'll look long term to the weekend, and that's improving. But today, yeah, not so much cloudy skies. Some of you are dealing with a few showers. Here's a live picture from Shaw University in downtown Raleigh as we continue to track the gloomy conditions outside this morning. If I could go back and relive the sunshine of yesterday, I'd be one happy camper for sure. But here's our WNCN radar as it scans the skies. Most of us are on the dry side. Keywords most here. We are seeing just a few showers right now along southern portions of Granville and into central portions of Vance County. Henderson, you're waking or you're heading out to a few showers. Maybe you're getting ready to head out for your lunch hour. Also towards Wake Forest, just a few light showers right now. So let's talk about your hourly forecast. You'll notice where these temperatures are, I'm kind of expecting them to hold steady. So climbing into the upper 40s at lunchtime, holding there through 2 o'clock, then we start to see those temperatures decline a little earlier than what we normally see. 43 by 6 p.m., 40 at 8 o'clock, and you'll notice the chance for rain is also going to diminish as we head throughout the day. So this is what we're looking at. Cold front actually sliding right over central North Carolina. That's why some some of us a little colder than others. You'll notice high pressure back to our west. That doesn't move in to control our weather until Friday, but once it does, it's going to bring beautiful weather for Friday and the weekend ahead. So just hold tight. We'll get through these clouds and showers, and then we'll see some sunshine at the appropriate times. But cloudy skies this afternoon. Most of us on the dry side could see still a lingering shower or two around the sand hills for the evening drive home. Overnight tonight, we're going to stay cloudy, but the cooler temperatures are going to return. As far as what we're going to see fall from the sky, I think we'll be on the dry side, dry as we start off our Thursday as well. Now, as we head towards tomorrow afternoon, you'll notice after lunchtime, this is at 12 o'clock tomorrow, it's after that that we could see a few showers. The best chance for rain is actually going to be east of our area altogether. But if you're along the 95 quarter tomorrow, maybe even here in Raleigh, late in the afternoon, we could see a light shower or two. Now, I mentioned that cold front dropping across the area as we speak. You're seeing these temperatures update. 44 in Henderson right now, 41 in South Hill. Further south, though, of the Triangle, 53 in Fayetteville, 51 in Lillington, 52 in Rayford. So here's what your highs look like for today. 48 in Raleigh, 47 in Durham, but 55 in Fayetteville. Overnight tonight, the rain is going to be moving out. Colder temperatures moving back in. 33, our overnight low. And here's a look at the next three days. 48 tomorrow, again, that chance for a few showers. Then we kick in the sunshine on Friday. 51 there. 57 on Saturday. The 60s are back for Sunday, and the 60s are going to hang around as we head into early next week as well. And don't you forget, it's that time of the year. Groundhog Day is next Tuesday. If the groundhog sees his shadow, he scurries back into his hole, and it's predicted six more weeks of winter. Vice versa, if he doesn't see his shadow, we're looking at an early spring. And <laughs> man, am I hoping yeah. for that early spring. I got my fingers and my toes crossed. Is there any analysis you could do with your computer system? <laughs> <laughs> to predict and prognosticate you, that you or may, no? Maybe I'll, I'll call Punxsutawney and see what he can do for us next we Tuesday. we got to wait until no game promises, time. Well, yeah. I know. I'm hoping for that <laughs> spring to come. All right, Alyssa, thanks a lot. We